hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial today we are going to learn about how to use the data binding library in your android application if you make a layout into declarative layout with the data binding you can easily avoid the expensive call to the find view by id method suppose if you want to create a calculator application you have to place a number of buttons in the layout file for representing the digits and the operator that means you have to make a number of calls to the find view by id method from the class file if you convert that layout into a declarative layout with the data binding uh, you can easily avoid the number of calls to the find view by id method also the data binding makes your layout more flexible so in this episode here i'm going to create a simple android application that demonstrate how to add the data binding library to your Android application and how to convert a layout into declarative layout with the data binding. So we can start with a new Android Studio project. Specify your application name. And select MD activity. Okay, here the project is created. So the first thing, uh, you need to add the data binding library to the Android Studio project. The data binding library is a part of Android SDK. So the first thing we need to add that library to this Android Studio project. So we can add it through the credit file, open module level credit file. So here I'm going to add the data binding library. enabled into true so this will add the data binding library to this android studio project so we made some changes on the credit file so sync project okay here the project sync finishes now go to activity main.xml so before going to create the layout here I'm going to create some bin class for data supply. Here I'm going to create a bin class called the user. So in this class we need some variables. First name and the last name. Now here I am going to add the getter and setter methods for these variables. Okay, here I need a constructor for this class. Uh, for this constructor we need two parameters. First one is first name and second one is last name. Now call the setter method from the constructor. Set first name and pass the first name. Set the last name and set the last name. Okay, now go to activity main.xml. So there is no need of this text view. So after a recent update, now the default root element is a constrained layout. So here I am going to change the root element into linear layout. Now specify orientation for this layout. Okay. Now here I want to display first name and last name. For display first name and last name, here I am going to place two text views. I will specify text size. I specify text size into 18 dp. Now specify the text style. 
specify texture style in the bold. Now align the text to the center so we can use the gravity attribute in the center. Now specify a margin at the top. Margin top into 25 dp. So this is the text view that display the first name. Now we need another text view for display the last name. Okay. So for this layout here the root element is a linear layout and here I place two text view for display the first name and the last name. So now I am going to convert this layout into a declarative layout with a data binding. So the first step you need to change the root element of this layout. Now here the root element is a linear layout. So if you want to convert the convert a layout into declarative layout for data binding, you have to make the root element into a layout attribute. So that is the first step. Here now this layout is capable of data binding. So here the root element is a layout, layout attribute. Now in that layout attribute uh, you can place another attribute called data and in that data attribute you can specify variables through the variable attribute. So here for the variable you need to specify name and type. Here name represents a java class object and type represents the class name. So here I specify name as a user and type here I am going to specify type as our a bean class here the bean class name is user. So here the variable user is an object of the bean class. So here we place this object in a layout file that means here this variable is a property used in this layout. Now we need to set data for the text views. We have to set the uh, first name and last name. So here there is no id for these two text views and there is no set text methods. So now here I am going to specify the data for the first text view. So we can use the attribute android text. So if you want to set the data through data binding, you have to use this index at symbol. Now you need to provide two brackets. In that bracket, uh, you can use that object, that variable. Here the variable is user. It is an object, so you can access these two variables, first name and last name. Here it is first name. So when you call this, when you place a statement like this, here we place the statement user dot first name. So this will invoke the getter method from the bean class. So this method, this statement invoke the get first name from the bean class. Now we can set the second name. So and through it text use the at symbol. Now specify the brackets. Now use the variable here the variable is user and here the property is last name so this statement called the get first name from the class user and this statement called the get last name from the class user okay so if you convert a layout into a declarative layout with a data binding the android build system automatically create a java class corresponding to that layout so here the layout file name is activity main. So in the background, the build system automatically create a class called activity main binding. So the, the name of the class is directly related to the name of the layout file. Here the name of the layout file is activity main. So the background class name is activity main binding. So now go to main activity .java. So there is no need of this statement. So here first we have to create an object of the newly created background class. That class name is activity main binding. 
and click make that object name into binding uh, data binding util dot set content view first pass the context now pass the layout here it is activity main okay uh, now we can set the data on the layout so here we already have an object to the layout now we can set the data for that first we have to create some object of the bean class uh, pass the first name now pass the second name uh, now we can set the data on the layout so we can use the activity main activity main binding class object so binding dot set to user and pass the user object that's it so here there is there is no use of android id attribute there is no on click methods there is no text view declaration there is no find view by id method call okay now we can test it So here I start some virtual device. Okay, now the virtual device is ready. Uh, now we can run it. Okay, now run the application. Select the virtual device. So here the application available on this virtual device. So here is the first text view that display the first name. And here is the second text view that display the second text second name. So this is how we convert a layout into declarative layout with the data binding. I hope you understand the concepts. Please subscribe my channel for getting more and tutorial updates.